high heat and high humidity can place one at risk for serious illness if people aren't careful. The heat can affect people's body by increasing the core body temperature, ability to sweat, and cause dehydration, thus causing further medical problems and ensuing issues and eventually can lead to heat exhaustion, in some cases severe heat illness known as heat stroke. Heat illness can be something mild such as heat cramps, which is like usually the first stage, consisting of cramping and uh, abdominal pain in some instances. Then it can progress to heat exhaustion, which is nausea, filling, inability to cool, increased warmth, cramping, dehydration or mild dehydration, and that can ensue to get severe, and that's known as heat stroke, which can cause disorientation, confusion, inability to cool yourself, nausea, and vomiting. If you have symptoms of heat cramps or heat exhaustion, it's important to stay cool. Seek a cool, shaded place. Go indoors. Drink fluids. Even sport-containing electric uh, hydrating fluids are very important. Some individuals are more at risk for heat-related illness. Those individuals who are on certain blood pressure medications, anti-allergy meds known as antihistamines can place people at risk. And it's important too when going to a new area that you acclimate to the heat. Be careful with doing new activities that can get you dehydrated quickly. So acclimate to the heat and don't go out during the warmest parts of the day. Try to find the coolest parts of the day to keep yourself healthy and away from heat-related illness.